y'all. Hey, Erica and Jason from Time to Drink. And if you're ready to make a cocktail right now, tonight's going to be a good night. What are we making? All right, so I've been wanting to do this for a while, okay? okay. Go over the Instagram, time to drink underscore Erica. Look under the menus tab. They've been cycling through all week, but I've been wanting to do an episode where, like, I know you have the ingredients to make one okay. of these three drinks in your house right now. So go. If you, if you have a little bit of a home bar, you're probably like, going to have some of this stuff. Like, right? the most exotic thing we have tonight is bitters. Okay. Like, like seriously. Okay. So I'm going to run down, we can run through these together kind of, and like you kind of collect what you have and you're making one of these drinks with us tonight. All right. So these are all bourbon based drinks. So go grab your favorite bottle of bourbon. All right. All right. We're going to need, well, you, you, you are going to need a lime. You're not necessarily going to need a lemon, but it's kind of a garnish and it's kind of, kind of fun and everything. Get your, your favorite kind of bitters. These are just Angostura bitters. If you're any type of low carb, Whatever type of sweetener you have, I've got two different examples here. This is the Lacanto Classic and the Lacanto Golden. Most a lot of people have Lacanto at home. It's one of the most popular, for sure. I kind of like this one because it kind of stays in the glass and dissolve, and it kind of gives it's, a fun it's little. It's the golden. It's very yeah. much more like the raw sugar taste and feel versus the classic yeah. is more like a traditional white sugar feel. Right. And then you've got some sort of club soda. We use San Pellegrino okay. and your diet ginger ale. So I figure if you're low carb, you have this stuff in your house, right? So you probably. can probably make probably. one of these three drinks with us. Okay. Okay. All yes, right. Let's do it. So here we go. Drink number one. We've, we've made this drink before. I don't know if we've ever made it with bourbon. It really calls for bourbon. Like it really is a bourbon drink. Okay. I don't know if we've made it with bourbon on the, on the show before, uh, okay. but we're going to make it tonight. And it is just your classic old fashioned. It went over really big last time we made it. Everybody loves it. It's a great way to dress up your bourbon and just have a little fun with cocktail, right? All right, let's do it. fashion we've just got a rocks glass i'm just gonna use a pack we sometimes we have sugar cubes sometimes we use like teaspoon or so mm -hmm. but you just kind of use a pack of lacanta golden here i like to think that you can get yeah. two drinks out of one pack so just kind of coat the bottom right. of the glass and if you don't have the the individual ones that's fine yeah. it's the exact same stuff you just would measure out like a teaspoon is what he's saying right and you just kind of coat in the glass at the bottom there taking your yeah. bitters Give it two or three dashes, depending on what you like. And then you're going to go in with... I love a good bourbon drink, y'all. A jigger I used to bourbon. think I was just a tequila girl, but then I discovered that I really like some bourbons. I, I like pretty good bourbons. Like, I, I'm not a cheap bourbon girl at all. All right, so with the Lacanta, I know I've said this before, I like to give it a good stir before I put the ice in. It doesn't yeah. dissolve super great, but I kind of like... Yeah. The feel and the texture it gives to it. Right. Because a lot of times when they make you an old fashioned at wherever, they use those sugar cubes that are usually the brown raw sugar cubes. And that same thing happens. And it right. doesn't completely dissolve. Right. And that's just part of, that's kind of, part part of, the, of drink. the drink. Now, I do have an orange peel. We have some sad looking oranges. We just made some triple sec. If you don't have our cocktail book, it's linked down below. It is absolutely worth it for our orange liqueur. But I was able right. to salvage this kind of sad looking a orange peel. So we're just going to kind of express this over the glass. This is one of our new crystal ball ice cubes I did cubes buy here. it for him as a gift, but kind of for me too. And They're clear ice balls. It's really it. hard to make clear ice. You have to have a special contraption or a special ice maker. And just give it a good shake around. You don't want to get it too cold or too watered down. Of course, a big part of an old, like one of the ingredients to an old fashioned is water. Right. We don't typically put water in it anymore because we like to chill them with ice. And so the ice melts a little bit and that becomes yeah. an ingredient. It, and you want it to kind of mature. You don't want it to start as good as it gets because it's only downhill from there, right? So it kind of builds up, you right. get the peak and right. then. So I can drink it now. Yeah, you can drink it now. It's just a bourbon old fashioned. It's yeah. so good. It's a great way to dress up your bourbon. You don't have to have a super high-end bourbon to enjoy this drink. Not super high-end, but you want decent. You want yeah, a you decent, want decent bourbon. bourbon. We're not going, We're not with, going with cheap. Drink number one, easy, simple. If you're low carb, I know you have some sort of sweetener. If you're any type of cocktail person, I know you got any sort of bitters in your bar and everybody has bourbon, right? <laughs> easy to go. There you go. Drink number one. All right. All right. 
Number two. Number two. This is even easier. It's easier for me. It's, okay. I don't know if it's going to be easier for you. I need you to make like a big swirly, like the whole peel. You think you can do that? I do not know. <laughs> I'm putting her to the test I've here, y'all. I've never used this peeler ever. I, I really like that peeler. I can't remember what. It doesn't turn. What do you want? You want one long swirly? Yeah. No, what are you doing? Babe, it cuts in here. What? It cuts in here. See that edge right there? That's the edge that you cut with. <laughs> I, I can't use it. Can I have my regular peeler? Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is called a horse's neck. And you can make it with bourbon, which we're gonna make it with. You can also make it with brandy or just a rye whiskey as well. It started off as a mocktail, like like it didn't have a drink. How are you doing? This is not working out so far. All right, well, I got another. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'm gonna give it a try. We'll, we'll see how we do. A little competition? Sure. The whole peel in one thing. Oh, I thought I had it there. Y'all, we are struggling tonight. I'm doing okay. I think I'm doing Oh, uh, Eric is doing okay. I think there. I'm, oh, that's all I got. That's perfect. Is that long enough? Oh, yeah, that's great. You did it, babe. I did it. You did yeah, it you, want me to, you want me to like. Yeah, like, like. You know, fancy it up. We're gonna swirl it around like the the ice in the glass. All right, so we want this to kind of like swirl around the glass as we put the ice in it. Okay. I don't know how we're gonna do that. I think we might put the ice in as we go. Yeah, I think so. We did not practice this ahead of time, as is obvious by the lack of my ability. All right, there we go. Good. All right, well, I tried. Looks good. I like it. I like it. I am gonna use this one on the rim, this kind of scrap. See. Okay. And this is called a horse's neck. Very, very simple. Go mm, in. I love the smell of lemon. I think you're gonna like this. I really think you're gonna like this drink. One of the best parts of these is he makes a lot of drinks that I haven't tried yet. He comes up with things and then makes it for the first time on the show. Or a lot of times we've been doing a lot of lives lately, but our life has gotten a little cray. It's soccer season. Jason coaches high school. Andrew plays high school. So live evenings have been hard to come by so we're kind of doing some of these pre-recorded for y'all but hopefully we'll be back to some lives soon because it's so fun to do lives with y'all that is beautiful that's it so it's pretty do i do i start it or okay. just go mm -hmm. yeah. he's not. not very good not a, with the i'm not always a you know today. like stir it type of guy in the guy all right well if it was supposed to be all put together be in a shaker it does so, look, pretty. look it's bourbon is it delicious it's good yeah. I, I love this Gosling's ginger <laughs> beer. It is the best. It's so good. So there's drink number two going through them. Horses neck, super simple, very refreshing. Moving so on, drink number three. Just as easy, get you a highball. Okay, another highball glass. Right. Done. And this is a bourbon Ricky. A bourbon Ricky. Okay, and All so right. you know a Ricky because of gin, gin right? Gin, right? But really, bourbon was the first Ricky. Okay. So get okay. you a lime. lime. You're just gonna kind of squeeze it over the glass. We're gonna use our press here. I don't know what this is called. Y'all, all of the stuff that we use in our bar, the things that we set up our bar with, the tools that we use are all linked down below in our Amazon store. We have an Amazon store and one of the sections is called Time to Drink. You can go to that if you're interested in any of the stuff that we use. I even put in there like the different types of glasses and things like that. Our glasses that we're using tonight are family heirloom type glasses, but I put in something similar. So if there's anything we're using that you're wondering about, it's probably gonna be in that. If not, you can always just ask me in the in the comments. We read every single comment, respond to every single comment. So if there's anything you're looking for, we can always answer down there if we didn't do it in the description. You're sure somebody didn't even have my towel with me tonight. There it is. There it is. Bourbon Ricky, squeeze the lime over the glass, a little bit of bourbon, top it with club soda, drop the lime right in there. Don't go for the wedges. Just don't go for the slices. The, the wedge the, would look much nah, nicer. No, no, no. It would this look is, much nicer nah, than the emptied out lime. No, nah, no, nah, this is how it's supposed to be served, I'm telling you. Like I said, they're simple drinks. I've been wanting to do this show where I know you have these ingredients. If you've been watching us or even if you're new, you've got some of this stuff at home, go ahead and make one of these cocktails. Comment down yeah. below which one's your favorite and Absolutely. enjoy. Absolutely. All right. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. We will see you again next Friday, every Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern, right here in our kitchen. Bye, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.